My colleague Ben Thompson is normally here to talk about marketing, but he's out and about this week meeting the people who actually do it, including Arian Kalantari and Ian Moore from the Lad Bible, which generates more eyeballs across its multiple digital platforms and brands than any other publisher in Europe. And those eyeballs are, by and large, 16 to 30 years old, the magical millennials. So how do you reach them? Well, for starters, don't group them together. Arian and Ian are very clear. 18-year-olds are different from 25-year-olds, and 25-year-olds from 30-year-olds. They don't like being called millennials, and they know when they're being sold to, which means lesson number one is be adaptable. You have to be adaptable, don't you? That things are changing so rapidly, you have to change your content plan, content plan to uh, accommodate that as well. And audience interests are, you know, shifting so rapidly too. So you have to be able to kind of go with the flow and yeah. just grow. I'd say more recently, it's things like Snapchat and Facebook Live, where you've had to, uh, you know, that that makes us less reliant on our users, but more more down to us then to do first person stuff and and creating off the fly kind of piece of content or maybe uh, content around live events or certain things. So, so yeah, it's, it's constantly challenging us, but it's exciting. This adaptability is vital if you want to reflect the complexity of your audience's life, as Arian and Ian explain. It really hit home when um, you, your first week of joining mm. us. I yeah. don't know if you want to explain the story about the Paris attacks, but. Uh, oh yeah, well, of course, I mean, before I joined as well, everything I knew about the Lab Bible was actually humour, uh, full-on humour. But then I joined um, last November, uh, and obviously the, I think it was the week, maybe the second day I was in the office, the, those tragic events in Paris happened with the shooting at the Bataclan. And in a situation like that, the guys at the office were like, well, what do we do? You know, you can't go out and post funny video of a cat playing a piano or something like that when there is something so drastic and dreadful happening so we really had to think on our feet there and we could see our audience was talking about that situation so we got in touch with our audience we talked you know what you guys are in paris what's happening we told real people's stories from out there and we really shied away from posting anything uh, humorous over those three days because it simply wasn't appropriate and beyond that we saw like wow our audience you know they come to us for much more than you know a funny video of somebody falling over. By asking questions of and actively listening to their community Arian and Ian also learned something fundamental about how the lad bible is perceived and that in turn has allowed them to grow their brand even further. It just means that, you know, if something serious does happen, we aren't afraid to cover it. We'll just cover it in the way that it's real to um, our audience. And actually, we did, a, we did a little bit of a survey, a bit old school, but we did a bit of a survey on what people think about that Bible. And it said, uh, one person actually came out and said, it's not the news, it's our news. And that kind of has resonated internally a little bit. It's like, okay, it's how we feel.